So what's going on guys, my name is Monk and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a negative effect in Photoshop. So what you want to do guys is you want to go to File, press New or Control N. Then you want to create a document, I'm just going to do one really quick for you guys. So I'm just going to do the, the custom kind of banner size. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to then, I'm going to get an image. So I'm going to go to unsplash.com. Just type in unsplash. This is a this is a website for loads of photos. Now I want to go ahead and just scroll down and get a really nice photo that, that is available. Um, we want to get one where we can add a couple stuff. So, um, which one will we get? Uh, We'll go ahead and we'll get this one. So what you're going to do is we're going to click that photo and then we're going to left click it, copy it, go into Photoshop and then press Control V to paste it. It is quite small so we're going to zoom out, press Control T, increase the size, go up here to where it says H and increase the size to about 500. Now we don't actually need this photo. I just wanted to use that as a background, so I'm going to put 90 degrees there, change it, increase the size by a bit more, just so that we have a background. And it might not be very clear the background photo, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is go to the bottom right, and we're going to press gradient map. Click gr gradient map. We're going to reverse this because we want a black and white one. Then we can make the, we can make this a bit, make it a bit uh, darker. So that'll be fine. Then press OK, OK. Then what we're going to do is we're going to press T for a text. And we're just going to type in uh, text. So, um, we want to make this stick together. So we're going to increase it to decrease it, decrease it to zero. Increase the size of the text by 200 to see what it looks like. OK, we'll, de we'll increase it to like 300. And all we're going to do now is, it's a white text, so that's fine. And since it's on this black uh, area, I'm just going to center this, or attempt to center it. We're just going to leave it there. And uh, all we're going to do now is, we're going to go here, and we, instead of pressing normal, we're going to press difference. And as you can see, it gives that cool effect on the back. And if we move this... If you want to get a cooler effect, you can move the background then. You can move the background and then like, as you can see, it warps the text or like it changes and has a negative effect. See with the person in the middle. So yeah guys, anyway, that's how you create your negative text effect. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was quite short as well. And anyway guys, if you do enjoy these videos, make sure to give a, give a like, subscribe, because I will be dropping a graphics pack at 100 subscribers uh all the help and all the comments are really nice and helpful and they really make my day they keep making me want to upload so anyway guys thank you for watching this video my name is moke peace